In this Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a quick texture to a sphere, make sure it's UV wrapped correctly, and then make sure the texture maps around the sphere. Sometimes when you add a texture, it doesn't go on exactly as expected. This is the basic Blender scene with the basic cube in Blender. I'm going to press X to delete the cube. Then I'll press Shift A and grab a UV sphere. To add new objects in Blender, press Shift A. Here is this sphere. And then I'm going to click on the Material Properties tab. It's the red circle on the bottom right in Blender. And I'll click on this new box here, and it'll make a new material. I'll label this material Ball Material. And then I'm going to go ahead and change the base color. Now you may notice that nothing changes in the viewport. That's because you need to change it to Material Preview to see anything that goes on the ball. So if I'm here on this preview, I won't see anything, but here I will. But you can also add predetermined textures in Blender. So I'm going to click under base color on the right hand side here, this little yellow spot. And then I'm going to add a checker texture. So here is a checker texture that I have on the ball. But notice that it doesn't look exactly right. So it's kind of all over the ball and doesn't really look like a checkerboard on the ball or like we would think a beach ball would look. So how can we change that? Well, we can go to the shading node up here at the top. Then we can zoom in on our ball. And then we'll look at these nodes. So here we have our checker texture and the color is going into the base color. That's great. And of course we can change these colors to be something different if we choose. So now we have a different color checker ball, but we don't have anything telling this texture how to go around the ball other than just to fill in the base color. So in Blender, to add a node in the shader, we'll press Shift A. And then in the search bar, we'll type texture and then C. And then we're going to get this texture coordinate node. Then we'll place it right here. And what we can do is drag from the UV to the vector. Now automatically it makes this better, but if you look on this side over here, it's kind of messed up. So we can change this to six, and then it'll more evenly divide this. So now it looks evenly divided. But if we change it back to seven, you'll notice that once again, it doesn't know how to break it up evenly. So as long as you keep this as an even number, it generally does a really good job of breaking up this texture and making it look more like a beach ball. So hopefully you can use this quick method to just add a bit more interest to a ball that you're working on in Blender by adding a checker texture and then using the texture coordinate node in Blender to make that texture go around the ball in the proper way. Happy 3D modeling.